Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the latch mechanism and lock, and lock actuator uh, in this 2006 Chevy Impala. We're going to show you the driver's front door. Uh, the driver or the passenger's front door is basically the same procedure. For this repair, you'll need a small flat blade screwdriver, 8 and 10 millimeter sockets, a ratchet and extension. You'll need a T30 Torx driver and preferably the style that uh, attaches to a ratchet. Um, and you'll also need a pair of pliers. Start by pulling open the door handle and there's a little panel that you just use a small screwdriver to pop out that kind of pries right out. And then there's another small panel at your door pull that pulls up and out. Using the same small screwdriver, pry out on the reflector at the bottom corner. And we'll fast forward here behind where you took the reflector off. There is a 8 millimeter uh, screw to remove and then there are three T30 torque screws. Two of them are um, at the door pull and then one of them is behind where the door handle, uh, the inside door handle is. Remove all three of those. Use a small flat blade screwdriver or some other flat tool to carefully pry on the triangle at the top of the door. Starting at the top front corner, pull firmly and you'll start to release the clips and you just slide your hand in all the way around and keep pulling the door and the door panel until it's free from the door. Once the clips around the outer perimeter are free, then you can pull the door panel up off the window ledge and out some more. Uh, using a pair of pliers, uh, there's little tabs on the cable housing. Pinch the tabs and pull the cable housing through the back side of the door handle and then pull the cable up and out. And then there is a lock. You pull the white part of the lock back, which unlocks um, the connector, and then you can pull the connector free and take the panel off. Carefully remove the water shield. You want to avoid tearing this because you are going to reuse it. The small flat blade screwdriver, and kind of tough to video here, but there's a connector. You pry up on a clip um, and then pull the connector off, and then reach in with your finger and pull the yellow clip open and pull that rod free. Next, remove the rear window channel uh, by removing a 10 millimeter bolt at the bottom of the door and then loosening the 10 millimeter bolt there. Uh, pull the channel up and then manipulate it out of the door. There are three T30 Torx uh, bolts that hold the latch to the door. Remove those and we'll just fast forward as we do that. Okay, up inside the door there is a rod that attaches to the lock. Push it back and out of its clip. Now we can remove the latch assembly. Um, the, uh, actually the rod that kind of came down into that yellow clip gets in the way a little bit once we get that out of the way. Pull it aside there. Then we can bring the latch mechanism out and you can kind of manipulate it off of the lock knob rod. Uh, you'll want to remove the latch cable uh, just by squeezing on the tabs, pull the latch cable out and then free the ball from the socket uh, and then you'll uh, pull off the lock rod and then with a pair of pliers squeeze the clip and remove that clip and then reinstall those new items on the replacement uh, lock and latch assembly Manipulate the latch into position, um, get the lock knob rod on, and then make sure you move uh, the other rods out of the way and get it back and flush with the door. 
And again, we'll fast forward here a little bit as we reinstall those three T30 screws. We always start them in there first. Make sure you start all three and then tighten them up nice and firm. If you didn't already remove the screw from the window channel, uh, we found it easier just to remove it all the way. Uh, pop that grommet off of the lock uh, knob rod, and that gives you the ability to kind of see in there and be able to get that uh, channel back in place and start the bolts on and tighten them up nice and firm. And now we're going to reconnect the connector and push the lock down. Uh, put that rod back into the yellow clip and lock it in. And then a little tough to film, but the other rod put back into the red lock clip and pull it into place. Now reinstall your water shield. To reinstall the door panel, bring it close to the door. Re-engage the ball into the door handle and then snap the cable housing in place. And now reach down in and reconnect your harness. Um, you push the two connectors together and then flip the white uh, clip up and over to lock it in place. Now be sure to line up the door lock hole with the door lock knob and then uh, push the door panel down onto the windowsill, make sure it goes on there correctly, and then set the clips around the outside edge. Now reinstall the three T30 Torx screws, one in behind the door handle, and then the two behind the door pull. And then once you have those done, uh, reinstall the 8mm uh, bolt or screw that goes in behind the reflector on the back of the door. Finish up by reinstalling the uh, triangle trim piece up at the top, the little trim piece that goes in behind uh, your door handle, um, the trim piece that goes into the door pull cup, and finally the reflector on the back side. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.